Welcome to ULABA USA. This is Question Mark. And in this video, I'm going to review the differences between the Koyo CP models and the Maggio MS and MX models. So let's start with the Koyo CP. It can come in one or two kilowatt heating power, either 115 volt or 230 volt. In heating circulator combinations, it can uh, go up to 200 degrees C can also be combined with refrigeration systems for refrigerated heating combinations from a minus 20 to 200 degrees C down to minus 50 to 200 degrees C. So these units range in cooling capacity uh, from 200 watts up to 1 kilowatt. So the Corio CP has a rather basic user interface where you can set the temperature. It has internal temperature control only, but it has an adjustable speed pump. The pump can be uh, adjusted between 8 to 27 liters per minute uh, or from 1.5 to 10.2 PSI max. There is also a mechanical adjustment of the pump with a flow diverter so you can physically adjust the ratio of flow between the internal and the external bath. On the Maggio systems, the Maggio can come in heating circulator combinations with a temperature max of 300 degrees C. The Maggio MS units uh, mimic the Corio CP in that they can come in either one or two kilowatt heaters. However, the Maggio MX comes with a three kilowatt heater. So on heating circulator combinations, the Maggio MX has higher heating capacity in addition to uh, up to three kilowatts of heating power. From a pump comparison, the Maggio MS and MX both have a pressure suction pump. It's continuously variable. So you have the pressure range from 3.5 to 13.3 PSI and a flow rate range of 16 to 31 liters per minute. So the Maggio pump gives you a lot more flexibility. Faster fluid turnover can really help with uh, controlling temperatures and external applications. Okay. From a temperature stability perspective, the Corio CP models in heating circulator combinations have a temperature stability of plus or minus 0 0.02 degrees C. When paired with a refrigeration unit for heating and cooling, they have a temperature stability of plus or minus 0 0.03 degrees C. All Maggio circulators have plus or minus 0 0.01 degrees C with calibration of 1, 2, or 10 point capabilities, whereas the Corio CP it's either a 1, 2, or 3 calibration. Okay, so continuing with the differences between the Corio CP models and the Maggio models, let's take a look at the back of the units. On the back of the Corio CP, we have a USB-A port. This is used for communication to PC or external PLC, if you will. And it comes integrated with an RS-232 port um, for serial communication. Uh, there is also a USB-A port, and you can use this for data logging time temperature information in addition to capturing black box service data, um, which you can send to our service team for remote diagnosis. Um, the Corio CP comes with M16 male threaded fittings. Module units, you can see we have a lot more options. Uh, we have a serial port for RS-232 or RS-485 communication a USB Type-B port for USB communication, and an Ethernet port. All Maggios incorporate Modbus TCP IP protocol. In addition, we have the Type-A USB port for data log and capture, black box information for service diagnosis, and the Maggios also enable you to transfer configuration files and or saved uh, temperature programs from one Maggio to another. One benefit the Maggios have is uh, that they have an external PT100 sensor capability. So if you want to control from an external application, the Maggio has that benefit over the Corio CP. Also, uh, there is a slot here where you can have an optional analog module if you want to communicate via 
uh, current or voltage to a PLC. The modules also have a stock eye outlet, which depending on the voltage of your unit will be either 115 volt or 230 volt to control inline solenoids or cooling water solenoids, uh, uh, accessories of that nature. And the uh, module units also all have M16 male pump connections. So when would you choose a Corio CP or a Maggio model? Just remember that for a Corio CP, the temperature max is 200 degrees C with either a one or two kilowatt heater. The Maggio units can go to 300 degrees C with choices of one, two, or three kilowatt heater. So if you have an application that needs more heating power, the Maggio is the way to go. Also, the uh, Corio CP has an adjustable pressure pump um, but the Maggio has an adjustable pressure suction pump with higher flow rate and pressure capability. So if you have an application that needs faster flow or higher pressure capability, then you would choose the Maggio for that. Um, for the Corio CP, if you have a PLC that just needs RS-232 or USB and the pump and the temperature control are, are fine for your application, it's a very, very nice unit because it has the RS-232 integrated on it. For other applications that require analog, for example, then the Maggio models would be your choice because you have that optional analog module. So thank you for joining us for the video. If you have any questions about the differences between the Coro CP or the Maggio models, you can do a comparison yourself by going to www.ulabo.us. You can select up to four different products for a comparison uh, feature when then it will display all the different parameters and specifications of up to four models. Or if you have additional questions about deciding which model to choose for your application, please feel free to reach out to us directly and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.